Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 51. All right, we are almost at the end. One more episode after this is left and uh, yeah, we're ending like you know coming to like you know the end of uh, this season. Now here's one thing I got to know. Uh, like you know the trailer has come out. Shaman King's Flowers is also getting an adaptation. Uh, I don't think they mentioned when it is going to be i don't i, I i'm not aware of that if they announce that little please let me know uh, but i also like you know when it comes out i will also probably react to that as well because i know Sha i think flowers is actually like a equal to shaman king kind of like you know like mm, yo's kid and you know like anna as a mother you know it, it's kind of like i guess you could like you know, if you compare it to some other animes probably like naruto and boruto that like you know like the original series then the sequel where their kids grow up something like that so i am like you know like i'm really uh i'm kind of looking forward to this one as well because i want to see yo as a father and anna as a mother i really want to see that like that's the main motivation for me like you know that's why i'm really excited that's why you know like i i don't know how they'll do the adaptation or whatnot but even if the adaptation is not good i don't care i just want to see <laughs> yo as a father and anna as a mom so yeah that's why I'm, I'm quite excited for this so when it comes out i'll probably react to that as well um so yeah just wanted to let you guys know all right the previous episode uh, episode number um 50 which was uh a few more battles happened um first of all we get the backstory of Horohoro and um uh kurobe yeah i think that was her name uh and you know like we get to see the sad backstory the whole thing with the dam and you know like uh how Horohoro didn't talk to her which obviously not because of that but you know unfortunately that was kind of like the result why she died and he was unable to forgive himself uh for that uh but by the end of it we get to see that Kororo is actually um Kurobe and uh you know like and it's it was kind of nice to see that you could say it's a bittersweet ending because you know even though she died at least she can be with Horohoro from here onwards something like that um and uh, that was that and then we get to the next one which where nichrome was no uh the chameleon guy i forgot about him we, who lies uh, easily just defeated just deducing the whole thing and opachi just <laughs> like you know opachi just uh, defeated him like in one shot um yeah that was that and then we go to nichrome where ren says that like you know i've found out a way to how to stop this cycle of hatred which is to carry all the hatred myself and you know like and like you know counter it with love so you know like he takes i guess you could, you could say he takes nichrome's hatred and in the end he was afraid of whether that will like you know let arise like you know give birth to demons within him where yo said that don't worry we are here with you we your friends are here with you uh, we won't let that happen and uh, okay the f the next one which was um i don't remember the guy's names the one with the plant uh you know powers he uh he and chocolate like you know battle it out and chocolate was the one who was perfect for him because uh, of his uh you know like wind of laughter erosion which completely like you know completely defeated his plant power and uh, yeah that one also resulted in a win and finally we are here and in front of us is silva so let's see how it goes let's get started this is episode number 51 of shaman king i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go okay glacier Obviously, yo. <laughs> yeah, he is. He has broken out of it, I think. Fighting is something. Hmm. 
Okay, who is he fighting for then? He says like he's fighting for someone else. Oh, for him. For Yo, he's fighting for Yo. Damn. It'll be a good day to die. Alright, so as far as I could understand, he's actually fighting for Yo. Isn't it? Like, that's what I got from the way he was talking. Like... Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe he wants to stop him so that he doesn't... Like, either way, Yo is going to die if he goes there. Like, you know, he confirms how. Like, if he becomes the Shaman King, he'll die. Or if he doesn't become the Shaman King, how will kill him? So, to stop that, I guess it is fighting for how, uh, Yo, for his sake. That's why Silva is stopping him. I don't know. This is just my interpretation. I might be wrong. One thing I, I, I probably the manga also did not uh, show that. Like all the Gandharas, you know, I was kind of looking forward to meeting all the characters there. But they, like we kind of met a few of them, but most of them kind of like, you know, we just saw them, like, you know, and just, we just know their faces, that's it. So, Probably the manga also did something like that, I'm not sure. But I would have loved to meet them, you know, like, personally as characters. Last test shaman fight. Oh no! Damn! Point blank! Ah! Oh. Oh. Okay. He blocked it, yeah. Other lives. Flesh and blood spear. Whoa. Oh my god. Damn, he's sweating. Oh no, no, that's not sweat, that's a water, sorry. Yeah. Wow. Light has run. Oh my god. Oh yeah. What? What? Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I I uh, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I wanted a little bit more out of Silva and Rio's battle, but never mind. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Too late. Uh. It's <laughs> just tied up. 
Oh. Okay. Nice. It, it has a little. <laughs> oh, wait, really? Oh. Oh, yeah, that, that's still left. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, my God. True. Oh, boy. Hmm? Can he? Ah, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, calm down. Oh my god! Whoa! Okay, well... This is very... Uh... Oh, okay. Whoa! What? What type of skills are these? Armored Oversoul, okay. Great sauce. Yeah. Really? Oh! Wow! What? Very original. Better. Oh my god! Oh. Okay. <coughs> He's just teaching them things. <laughs> the dad of old age at 100 years old. Wow. Oh, is the thing. Oh. Oh my god. In exchange for normal. Wow. Oh my god, what? I'll I need to come back here again and read this part. <laughs> uh. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. It's a gravity thing. Down. What? Um, translation, please. Wait, did he? Stop functioning. So he, he has become the Shaman King. We, we didn't even reach in time. Oh my God. We didn't even reach in time. What the hell? Oh my God. Oh. Wow. We need to fight the Shaman King now. <sighs> oh my god oh god Oh my god. And we don't even have the... The great spirits with... It. Oh my god! No! Just took it so... Wait, what happened then? Did he like... What, the, what was that? Like... Yeah, why, where did he... It's so long ago. Yeah, what? Oh. Took out. Oh, my God.
Yeah. Uppermost part of the great spirit. Oh. Uh, to leave the lives of going along with the crowd. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. You wouldn't let yourself hit him in fully. Hmm. Yeah. That means he also probably said, oh, okay. Wait, oh yeah, they're, wait, what? How? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Wait, then when did Gandhara? Oh, that's why. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, he just starts attacking. Damn.
Yeah. Yeah, he, he's he's a shaman king. Yeah, like this is not nothing to him, I guess. Hmm. Okay, what? What? Which? Oh, spirit of earth. Okay. Like, uh. <laughs> so they came here came here to give him lessons on kingship. <laughs> oh my god. Get of the sun. Hmm. All right. Okay, so okay, interesting. So this quite a few things we got here in this episode. All right, so first of all, uh, we get to the fight between Silva and Yo. Now, I'll be honest here, I was not expecting this fight to be this short. Like, I feel like even <laughs> Necrom's fight was, like, <laughs> lengthier than this. <laughs> but, okay, like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I was at least expecting a little bit more, like, you know, at least, like, three or four, five more minutes that the fight to, like, you know, extend, because obviously this is, like, this was the highlight of all the patch fights, you know, like Yo versus Silva, and it just being like you know over in that quickly. I I was like, what? Like as I said, like you know, there was a lot of the other fights which kind of uh, lasted more than this one, which was supposed to be the highlight of this whole thing. But I don't know. <laughs> That's one thing that I I would say that yeah, I I was like, kind of a little bit surprised and. I expected a little bit more, but nothing you can do. You know, we're rushing things, so you can't do anything. Um, okay, so so we start the battle here. Um, Silva versus Yo, and as I said, like I I talked about this when the whole thing was playing. That uh, I think like what uh, Silva says here is like fighting for others is the like you know. It's something that you should always, you know, focus at. Like, you know, fighting for yourself, it's okay. But fighting for others, that's what, uh, you know, like, I don't know. That's, that's what, what, what did he actually say? He, he said it in a very proper way. What did he say? Um... Uh, I cannot find it. Okay, here it is. By fighting, okay. Fighting isn't something you do for your own sake. But fighting out of love for someone else. Yeah. One can at least be freed from oneself. There you go. That's the line. And uh, so, which obviously means, I think so, that Silva was also fighting this for someone else. And 
And the only person I can think of is Yo. Because he said like fighting out of the love for someone else is the only way of freeing yourself from it. And the only person I could see him fighting for at that moment was Yo himself. And the reason for that, I don't know. I, I feel like it was probably because he did not want him to go there because he knows that like you know he's going to die either way and he wanted to stop that or something i don't know this is how i interpreted it i might be wrong um but yeah he silva versus yo happens and uh, he uses uh oversoul flesh and blood spear and the fighting kind of happen for a few minutes you know yo also uses his uh his own oversoul but in the end he you know like impales i, I guess impales him with the sword or stabs him with the sword whatever you call it and uh, silva's in the end silva says that you're still so soft yo the slight hesitation will end up costing your life one day and that's the end of him while on the other side manta is having dreams weird dreams about princess how <laughs> oh my god and he's like ah oh, like the, the things that anna said in previous <laughs> previous day <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm laughing at the whole scene how is in that like you know castle with we see that the people here who came to stop him is yo who is guessing i'm guessing is this like a um, dragon quest reference or something i don't know like <laughs> we see like you know there's different characters yo is like you know has like a weapon and he is as always just completely tired of the situation uh while horo horo and ren are just completely angry at the like you know just <laughs> chocola is swinging his bat or whatever and lyzerk is in a weird dress not weird dress but kind of like a thing hooded dress with kind of looks like a evil magician or something <laughs> oh my god all right so manta is like you know thinking like oh they should could have take me taken me with them even though i cannot fight and anna comes in anna's like you're late come we have made you know the like with anna Hall's help we have made like the the whole sphinx thing which can go underwater and uh, yeah they start their journey to the moon continent while here our team we come to the final plant the space plant where uh, rutherford is supposed to be now ren uh ryu says that i'm going to help you guys out i'm going to kind of cover you with my oversoul and we're going to go there so that you can easily move and he himself realizes that he's weak but he wants to do something for them and yo is like all right i'm i'm going to trust you on this and they get in and we meet the the alien or the person with the alien armored oversoul like you know throughout the body now okay one thing what was okay i don't even know if that's a boy or a girl I feel like it's a girl, but I might be wrong though, because like, you know, Lysark also looked like a girl when we met him. <laughs> and, you know, like, I don't know, like, this is one thing I don't know. And, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to call, I, I feel like th that's a girl. I'm going to call her or she, but I might be wrong though. Like, let me know. So, okay. Um, Rutherford uses her uh like you know over so the, the different techniques mystery circle and super mystery circle all these like these are all like alien <laughs> like you know lingo I, I could say like mystery circle as far as i know like mystery circle is that thing isn't it like where it's like a i don't know it's like a like uh, what is it like and it's like something related to aliens i, I i've heard that like you know a lot of times before like it's like in, in like a big field there's like a circle or something which kind of i think signals aliens or something like that i don't remember what it actually is but it's something like that related to aliens and then she uses cattle mutilation which is <laughs> another one of those 
you know, UFO or alien lingo. Like, you know, cattle mutilation. I know what cattle mutilation is. It's when the, like, you know, flying saucer comes in and I guess, you know, take in cattle, just transporting them. There's like a weird ray comes in. And <laughs> these are like the names of the oversoul uh, techniques that Rutherford is using. And uh, <laughs> now here's one interesting thing we get to know. Um, she tells us about the story of um, the aliens and you know like this spirit is actually something that she got from like you know them okay so here we go they visited this planet countless times leaving their mark um, and the mark is knowledge and technology that far surpasses anything a mankind is capable of in fact, he's the only originator, is the very originator who taught us patch, a traditional crafts. Okay, now she talks about uh, how a UFO came crashing down inside in was a life form who was almost dying, an alien. And the alien uh, was able to live up to a hundred years uh, after being you know, patched up by the patch tribe. <laughs> and um, like he... The, the alien taught them uh, a lot of things and a lot of technology and we can see the alien kind of like you know uh, kind of drawing the oracle bell and teaching them stuff and everything and yeah he left behind several pieces of technology so now here's one thing that i need to check out again i need to read this part again um because i wasn't able to properly see okay while well, reacting why did the alien come to earth to enlighten us, an intelligent be all intelligent beings have evolved, always seeking some greater things. Okay, that unrelenting desire ultimately, in exchange for knowledge, causes serious problems. True, the heart, mm. the pain and suffering brought about by knowledge cannot be solved. No matter what technology one has. Wait, what? Just a sec. Pain and suffering brought about by knowledge cannot be solved no matter what technology one has. Okay. What if I told you the shaman fight was started to s so someone can find a solution to those woes? I still don't understand. Wait a minute. Why did the alien come to Earth? Okay, um, enlighten us. Okay, um, always wanting something more. A knowledge and that's like you know in, in in that like you know in that search it always causes more problems okay so I feel like I'm not able to I'm, I'm unable to understand this a little more a bit more clear I feel like there's a little I understand what she, she's saying Rutherford is saying but it's not still clear in my head. So what is what is Rutherford saying? It's, it's like saying that uh, the shaman fight, or the shaman tournament, was made so that um, was started so that someone may find solution to those woes, which I guess is referring to the woes that are brought about by trying to chase for more knowledge and doing that brings more problems and find a solution to that is that what brother Ford is trying to say and the shaman king was started because of that like this i feel like this is more spiritual than i am able to that's why i'm unable to understand more properly like this is actually going into the heart you know and uh, the heart the soul and uh, like you know in the in search for these answers you know, like shaman king we know shaman king is someone who who is like the god you could say you know like he encamp he encompasses everything the shaman king 
So the shaman fight was started so that the final result, whoever wins becomes the shaman king. And I'm guessing the shaman king will be able to find a solution to that or something. Is that what this, uh, this is referring to? Or anyways, I feel like I'm still missing something here, but basically that we are like, you know, the, the shaman fight was done to find a solution to that. Okay. Uh, anyways, um, Rutherford then uses more gravity and Yo is like, all right, then, um, now that I know, uh, what? Now that I know, uh, I am suddenly even more keen to keep going. Yeah, and he uses his oversoul. It is able to defeat, I, I guess you could say Rutherford, but unfortunately at that moment, looking at our Oracle Bell, we were able to realize that uh, the Shaman King has been born. That is how has already ascended. And okay, so, and everyone gets to know that, you know, Anna, the Gandhara, they're able to realize, like, this happened, and I'm guessing everyone died at that moment. Like, you know, we can't also kind of saw uh, Jan, and there was like a flash of light, which I'm guessing would probably mean that her soul was also taken out. And all, I guess, uh, like, you know, in the end, I think, um, how also says that everyone, like, you know, the, all the people that they knew, Anna, Gandhara, all of them, their souls have also been taken in. So at that moment, everyone died, I guess you could say. And that's why since they came back to the, like, you know, like, like, I guess that's what happened, didn't it? Like, you know, they had these spirits with them, the greater spirits with them, uh, Gandhara and the Anna, they were coming to deliver them to us. But when the souls were taken out, you know, all of them came into the greater spirit, you know, and since that's where they came, accumulated, uh, our team, that is Ren, um, Chokolov, Horohoro, Yo, all of them were able to get the greater spirit because it was transported to the, like, you know, uh, to, to the main, like, you know, to, to the commune, the Shaman King's commune. It all came inside the greater spirit. That's why they were able to get the different elemental spirits. And they did not need to, like, I guess it, it made their work easier. Like, they did. Anna's team did not have to carry them and bring it to them but they automatically went to the same place i guess that's what happened but okay so yeah how comes out and we see like this how is just killing everyone now interesting thing here is um Golva wasn't able to realize that was not the actual shaman king that was basically how controlling a puppet so that he could put yo into more despair because that's what Yo says in the end, you know, like, like Golva was also like, oh, this power is, or, or maybe he, she realized, I don't know, maybe she realized that he's using this as a puppet and he just took all the souls out. And uh, Golva's souls was also taken by, yeah, Golva's soul was also taken in and how starts taking everyone's soul in like you know, not only them but their spirit spirit allies they're, they're also taking them and uh, okay so the only pe pe people who were able to realize this is not the actual how i guess is yo and opacho as opacho says this is not the actual how you no know, no how is not this you know, uh, like you know it is more kinder than this more nicer and um, Yo was also able to realize that. That's why Yo cut off his the head of the puppet and says, "Why are you playing puppet with your corpse for? Do you do you want to? Okay, where is it? This body is just an imp uh, imposter, just like Opacho said. Is that how badly you want to test me? Yeah. So he basically did this to make yo or test yo you could say or like you know make him fall into despair or something i don't know but that's what he was testing i guess and only opacho and yo, how yo was able to realize that this was not the actual how but it was just a puppet being controlled by him and uh, yeah how then takes the soul in yo's soul in and i guess the other fourth soul was also taken in, in at that moment probably and uh, so yeah, Yo comes inside the greater spirit, 
the upper part of this bridge, Shaman King's commune, because how allowed him to get in. And here Yo is like, all right, like nothing I can do about it. So let's just let's sit and talk. And he asks what, how is going to do, and how says like you know what I planned. I'll wipe out humanity. And then he says like, um, yeah, I also know that you also hate humanity. Not like the way I do, but still, you don't like people that much, which is kind of interesting because I feel like everyone up until now thought of Yo as a person who, you know, like always like forgave people and just, you know, what can I say? Like looked at the good in people. And, uh, you know, like that's why I feel like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people must have thought it in that way that, oh, how is a person who, not how, sorry, Yo is a person who likes people, likes humanity. Um, but the fact is, like, it's not all, like, you know, positive inside his head. It's probably that he likes people at a, at a certain amount, and at the same time, he dislikes them as well. And that's why Yo says, like, I don't like people all that much. He doesn't say that I hate people. He says that I don't like people all that much. While how is like completely negative, he hates people, he hates humanity. While Yo is like, oh, I don't like them that much that I show. And I guess that's why, you know, as, as House says, like, that's why I and Anna were able to, you know, like, <clears throat> accept you because you were, even if not at the extent of, of me, but you were still kind of like me. And, uh, Okay, now interesting thing, um, it says like, nothing is more disagreeable than people, no, what? Nothing is more disagreeable to people like you than those who live their lives going along with the crowd. Yeah, and that's why Anna and I sympathize with you. Which kind of makes sense because you know the people who grow with the crowd, like there's a majority of people try to do that, going with the crowd what they say to be normal you know like what by society's norms whatever is considered normal you know like people try to go along with that otherwise they will be ostracized they would be hated and you know like just isolated that's why people try to do that just go along with the flow you know and um that's why anna was ostracized uh, isolated so was how because According to the flow, according to society, what they are are actually they are actually the more ex like you know, in the in the false and the more exception category, and you know like they are monsters according to society they are inhuman, and that's what the that was the label that they put on them on how and on, and you know like and the other people you know the, I'm sure there's a lot of people who probably sympathized with how and Anna, but in case they also get the same, you know, penalized in the same way, they started going with the flow or started going with the crowd because they don't want to be in that place, you know, like this is this is the thing. And I feel like like the whole um, bullying thing that also happens, uh, I've seen like, you know, like um, and like it also happens everywhere. Bullying happens everywhere. Like, thankfully, I, I never had to, like, you know, endure all of those things like where I went and where I, like, you know, lived. Nothing like that happened. Um, but I have heard a lot about this and in anime it's very like you know like we, we always see bullying and like you know, as far as I have seen from anime and stuff like whatever like you know bullying is kind of like this where there is always that one person who is like you know like the person who is targeted because of something because they are probably different in some way from the others and uh, there's always these three or four class bullies who are constantly doing something trying to like you know ostracizing them isolating them kind of messing with them um there's probably 10 to 15 people who probably sympathize with the bully uh, with the victim but they also go with the flow because if they try to help them they're going to be the targets alongside them so it's kind of like that i guess like you know this this whole like you know thing of going with the flow and like you know kind of making a victim of someone and just like, you know going like you know putting a label on them this has always and still happening in this world so that's one thing that how says like you know people like you like uh, yo you do not like that 
like he yo is the type of people who sees people going along with the crowd and along with the flow and he hates that despises that you know like you know because he he, he cannot like yo is someone who cannot let this injustice keep going and most of the people are like that in the world you know that's why yo also hates people at to some extent i guess that's what like is the whole thing is here and that's why anna and how were able to make like you know like become friends with him you could say an interesting thing again uh yo says here is like like what his grandfather said is he says grandpa used to say it human beings are like cancer cells it really devour the cells around them and make them into their own kind mm. and then they destroy themselves along with the person that's hosting them yeah true the flow of current times cannot be stopped and that's why he's saying you know like that's why i guess how made this decision so you know like if you cannot stop this try everything start anew which yeah like which i guess is the th like he, here's the thing like you know um we don't know when the world will be destroyed but it is going to happen someday you know maybe thousand years or maybe even more or maybe it, it, it maybe even earlier in the future uh, but it is going to happen someday and i feel like the the time the time when the world is going to be destroyed is when humanity will be at the lowest isn't it like you know like when we will be at our lowest you know like that's when the world is going to be destroyed and that's not it like you know another i'm sure like you know like life will sprout again in a different world and everything will start anew so basically that i guess you know like and that's what how is trying to do here destroy the world start everything anew and you know like as like in a fresh way and uh, you know like when everything starts anew everything is good and obviously that will again like you know kind of you know escalate and like you know it'll go down again you know like the new world will also be filled with people who are bad evil people and it, it will also that new world will another time will come when that new world will also be at its lowest and then that will also be destroyed and another new world will i guess like you know kind of come somehow and get formed and this is how this will continue so <laughs> like like this is like the funny thing like no it's impossible for people i guess to somehow go up you know like we will always like you know from an upper like you know pedestal like thing always come down we will always deteriorate and that's always what's going to happen i doubt there will ever there will be a word where it was going down and suddenly humanity is like oh we're messing up and it starts going up i doubt that will ever happen if it happens that will be a miracle like you know like if suddenly people realize that oh what we are doing like most of us what we are doing is killing the world let us change ourselves and you know like not only helping the world but helping others out and people start doing that more people start doing that and everything starts to become better and better I doubt it'll ever happen like that you know and it'll be it'll be a real miracle if something like that ever happens because i feel like we are we are always going to deteriorate as time goes on and when we will be at our lowest the world is going to be destroyed so turning that around is very difficult and it's kind of impossible i think but anyways um so yeah okay so now here's another thing which house so house says like okay uh yo says i fought believing in that uh, but then i lost to you okay he says that is the greatest proof that you won't let yourself hate humanity fully there you go as i said how yo does not hate humanity fully he hates them but you know he also loves them at the same time and the reason for that is okay he, let me read this part uh how says it was that uncertainty that determined the victor i bet 
but there's nothing to be uncertain of now i provide a refuge in here to those people you hold so dear so that um okay while it becomes hell on earth out there they will be in this eternal paradise free from all ties and obligations because here's the thing like how i think like obviously like you know how knows that the people here that are here yours friends and everyone uh, the patch officials everyone they they are genuinely good people they they want the good for the world and you know they're not like those people that you know like are like the cancer cells so that's why they gave them refuge here and the world will be destroyed now i don't believe that all the people in in, in the world is like you know like like the cancer cells that he said there's a lot of people who are genuinely good people but i feel like you know kind of i don't know like kind of choosing them one by one is something that i don't know like i, I feel like he's a he's a shaman king he could easily do that couldn't he like you know like choose all the people who are good and take them here while i don't know and i don't know but never mind this ba basically that like you know, he, he gave them refuge here so that all the other people and the world is destroyed and they will be here safe and okay here's what he says yet why are you so concerned about life on earth now here's the thing that yo answers because there's no future a future with my yet to be born kids my family even if it's easy being dead will be no fun which yeah so basically yo says that people on the earth there will be no future and that means there will be no future for me as well my kids my family all these things no future for them and even if it's like you know even if we are dead it's not fun where at which how says you're still a mich immature which is interesting because this is also the type of mindset that i feel like a lot of people has i also has have like the mindset of yo because i've seen a lot of people like you know say like oh enlightenment you know like after we die you know like which is house perspective here like yes you are you, you people will be here you'll be safe forever you'll be happy you know like in in this place you know like this is like a like a heaven for you guys and uh, like you know the the soul will be like you know your soul will be fulfilled here no disease nothing you know all the all the hardships that you like you know have to go through in on earth nothing there's no disease no hunger nothing like, you know this is like the perfect this is utopia this is this is heaven and that's the best thing i've heard a lot of people say that as well but i don't know i feel like what yo says here is that um but there's no future for us humanity and even if we are dead it's no fun and i don't know whenever like you know like like as i said like in, in my like you know, here as well like i've seen a lot of people say and say the similar thing as how says here while in my head i always think like but you know even if that's all good what yo says here that yeah there's no future like you know we 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 won't i i don't know i feel like that's probably a very uh privileged point of view you know because since i am privileged enough to say that my life is happy i could actually say that oh like you know being alive is fun being alive and having a future is nice but yeah i think that's probably it like it's a very privileged point of view because there's a lot of people who are not that privileged who actually feel every day on their life on earth is hell and they would probably laugh at me you know when if i say something like that they'll call me immature as how said wow yeah that is true you know like how is that person you know who who was constantly i guess you could say like you know like tormented on earth and he knows what hell on earth is that's why he actually tells yo that you're immature yeah that's basically it while yo even though he also went through the same things but not at house extent still he knows the joy of having friends you know the joy of having a normal life and you know like the, these things so that's why he still thinks that living on earth and having a future is so much better than dying which is kind of my point of view a privileged point of view you could say comparing it to how who was not so privileged to have those that type of a future that type of a life where everything's so fun 
and that's why he is saying like it's in you're immature yeah i i that's probably what it is like it's basically that a privileged point of view <clears throat> anyways um so how says like um okay and then how is like yeah like unfortunately as long as you have that type of like you know point of view you're not allowed here he tries to uh, like you know get him out of here but <laughs> yo is like no i'm not going how is surprised and yo is like you do realize don't you that you know like when you took all the souls like the gandhara and everyone you know all the souls came to the greater spirit and that's why we have part of the greater spirit which is the elemental spirits the, the, the elemental spirits we have them with us which is part of the greater spirit that's why you cannot just expel us from here i think that's what he said that's what why they weren't able to expel them and you know like a chocolate of lizerk and ren was able to get in and horohoro was able to get in because they have the five elemental spirits within them now and these five elemental spirits are actually part of the greater spirit and something like that i guess and the, we we get to see all the elemental spirits and they start attacking <laughs> how one by one you know ren with his lightning spirit uh horo horo with his water spirit i think yeah um chocolate with the wind um lysak with the fire and um yo with the earth you like yo does not attack but yo gets his earth spirit as well and uh Okay, so obviously these are all child's play for how, because he's the shaman king now. So he just like you know he's like oh if even if you have the grand spirits, what are you going to do? You do know who my spirit ally is, don't you? And he summons the greater spirit. Okay, now and another thing that another interesting thing when he says like you you do realize who my greatest my spiritual ally is, don't you? And Lysak says, it is you who misunderstands how. Um, we just came here to make you a decent king. So basically, they're saying like, we are not here to defeat you, but we are here to give you a lesson. Like, you know, we are here to teach you how to be a proper king. <laughs> this is pretty pissed at that. And Ren is like, that's also your intention from the start, wasn't it, Yo? Like, yeah, Yo didn't want to, never really really wanted to defeat him or kill him, you know? He always wanted to, like, you know, give him love that he, dis like, you know, that he always never got, you know? And this, I guess, this is also something that he is doing out of love here, that he wants how to become a proper person, a proper, like, you know, look at the world in a more positive manner, not just kill everyone, but you know be a proper king be a proper shaman king so instead of destroying everything and starting anew he wants him to make this a better place you know like we could easily do something like that you know we can easily destroy the whole thing and start everything anew but to changing something that's something that needs i guess you could say uh like you know like with hatred in the heart that could not be done and that's what Yo wants how to realize. Yo wants how's heart to understand that. And since this is the greatest spirit, everything they can understand until you change his heart, you cannot do anything. And that's the basic thing of the Shaman King anime, like changing people's hearts. You know, like if their will, their hearts change. You know, their, their determination. It all depends. The outcome of the fight all the time, uh, like, depends on that. And that's what we need to do. And Ren also realizes that a bit now because I remember Ren at the beginning, he was so mad. He was like, "What the hell are you saying? You're going to, <laughs> you're helping out how? Who is the enemy here? Blah blah blah." And now he's like, "I understand fully what you're trying to say up until now, and that's what you always wanted to do. And I can also see it now." Like Ren says that, "Here you go. You've been evasive ab about it this whole time, but we've long each other for a long, t known each other for a long time now." The fool's so damn foolish that the power of his thoughts is too much strong. There you go. I finally see for myself that this is the only thing for yet. This is the only way how we can change him. <clears throat> yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. And okay, there you go. And Yo is like, yeah, let's go then. And how is like, oh, I'm going to, you know, 
show you how to like I, i'm going to destroy you my star power will send your hearts into absolute despair and he summons the greater spirit and that's where it ends this was a really good episode i liked it and especially the ending part of the whole thing with how uh it, it was good it was really good even though i as i said i kind of expected a little bit more from the silver versus yo fight but the the final the ending part kind of made up for it i i i, I like this episode so yeah that's it thanks for watching guys damn this was a long discussion uh, <laughs> So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with uh, the next week with the final episode of Shaman King. So yeah, see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.